let Harry destroy himself. Charles' principles work when they are most inconvenient like Sussex. The fact that Harry enjoys destroying his own family shows how immature he is. If he wants help, especially from his brother, then Harry shouldn't do that. Harry dug such a deep hole for himself that he'll never find his way now, first when they temporarily stepped down as senior royals, and it was announced they weren't going to represent the monarch, then it got even deeper after they officially announced that they were quitting and no longer allowed to use. They have been very clear that they themselves do not represent the family. Harry would have no idea how to earn a penny without his family ties. I don't think you really work in the real world. It seems like the only thing Harry has left at this point is that title, everything that grew up around his native land, his family and above all his contempt for anything suspicious finally caught up with him. He lives in the land of nowhere. Nothing, he has no home. Has no country. All Harry has now is this strange mansion of olive trees he and Meghan live in, from which I hear he often has to run away to find peace elsewhere. Harry is a prime example of how to ruin a truly amazing life. The only marketable asset he has is his connection to his family. Without it, Harry is basically just a blind, mischievous loser. And what exactly can King Charles do at this point? I mean if he comes out publicly and says something about Harry, then he stoops to Harry's level, and if he talks privately to Harry then Harry will play the victim card and tell the whole world what has been said and probably a lot of things. Harry is an adult. He's being stupid and there's no reason for his father to be in this mess, it's weird. And honestly, it's like his only worth titles. The king is just doing his job of being the king. And now that work does not include the release of a statement that will lead to a counter-statement from Harry, urging a continued exchange of views to keep him in the public eye. Whatever Charles may think, his first obligation is to the people of his country, and that includes preserving the integrity of the monarchy, which would certainly be overshadowed by an ongoing public feud with Harry. The king really doesn't need to lift a finger. Harry hangs himself. He doesn't need any help. And if, as I hope, the British government decides that Harry's destruction of government means it's time to scrap the bonds, then I have nothing more to offer. Meghan Markle is also American, and I don't understand to use the title. Meghan hates the British royal family. He's disrespected them so many times, but he's not afraid to use them for money, of course. And that's not even its title. People like her from different countries should be forced to study history to study the traditions, laws and requirements of the royal family, and then she should be tested before being allowed to marry into the royal family. There's no way that would have passed if royalty. Mary doesn't like it so it's fine, it's fine. He can simply give up his titles and live and marry elsewhere. Meghan was so selfish when she refused the help offered by Her Late Majesty the Queen and continued to act like a fool and watch where they are now. Another thing is that Harry, as the son of King Charles, can have all the opinions he wants, but luckily for the British, Harry doesn't even live there anymore. S. Oh, what is he talking about? He doesn't even know what's going on there. He should mind his own business, he should be an adult, and as we've seen time and time again, Harry will do whatever he wants and that's it. No one can control what comes out of their mouth, or what they do next. And if people think of King Charles removing the titles of Harry and Meghan and the Invisible Children in any way, we have to consider how good that would be. This would likely attract more media attention, and have a negative effect at this point. Right now, King Charles is trying to find a balance between fatherhood and being king. They are two incredibly different roles. Her Majesty the Queen was able to fulfill that role, as she was made queen, when her children were still very young, and even then I'm sure, she had her regrets, because when Andrew and Edward arrived she was a completely different kind of mother than it was before. So I think we all need to give the king some time to do his thing. Let us remember that if he takes a step, it will be permanent. It's not that he approx then turns around and takes him back, 
and he really can't do anything about what Harry said about the government. That's what a lot of other people say they are right now to stop Harry from doing what wouldn't be good for free speech. The king himself, of course, can't speak ill of the government, but technically speaking there really isn't any existing rule that says Harry can't. I have a lot of friends in California, some even live in Santa Barbara, and they say no one cares about them, they could easily walk down the street, and no one would give them a second look. In fact, most people paid no attention to the two of them until they moved to Montecito. But then they intentionally misled the press by saying they lived in Santa Barbara, and this stupid lie actually brought a lot of negative publicity to a beautiful community. I wonder why no one has added this lie to their long list of lies. I guess that's just too many lies to keep track of Harry's need to stop talking. I mean, it's so crazy. Seriously, though there's no rule that says Harry can't say what he wants to say. How dare he undermine the British people to such an extent that people can't even read the news without having to figure out what's actually true when it's just a load of nonsense? Does Harry even understand why diaries were first born? It's not up to him to try to control what everyone sees and what everyone hears about, but rather to inform people about what's happening in the world to warn people to inform. Without it, the world would really be a very scary place. And that's why the super-rich executives initially didn't want the poor to learn to read. Knowledge was actually an incredibly dangerous thing. See if it fell into the hands of the RAF Riff who didn't know any better, especially the women who know what could happen and Harry thinks he alone can be the editor for the whole country, especially when he's dressed like a Nazi thing and knows puffing. Harry wishes us back to the Dark Ages. Obvi doesn't want us to know anything, because maybe we'll run off and tell someone else, and then what happens. No. Harry doesn't want the public to be informed at all. I guess privacy is what he really wants. Harry is mad. It's much worse than cheating. In reality, both are dangerous. There are some lying, evil and self-absorbing hells. They hurt the young, they hurt the old and maybe even their invisible children. They are harming family, civilians and someone has to stop them immediately. They are empty inside. All they can spit is hate and destruction, and I don't care what kind of diagnoses they get. They must disappear. They only care about money. They never care about other people, and most people in America certainly aren't fooled by them or their PR nonsense. It's just a minority dumb enough to believe one or the other but it's always the American media and some of its celebrities pushing their agenda for what they don't understand, but I think if we boycott them both and everything they're involved in maybe they'll end up to understand the message. We can only hope. Although since that pitiful New York episode, a lot more people are finally seeing them for who they really are. Dot, and in the UK, I think they are pretty much ignored, both look and act like two clowns. Now, as far as I know, they don't get much old Hollywood attention either. I don't understand how UK audiences can put up with this annoying immaturity. You certainly have my understanding. I'm so sick of them it's clear Harry has mental health issues and they're happy to exploit them they're not minors they're a middle-aged millionaire couple and they're so mean so jealous. All they do is moan and moan. The world has many more important things to focus on and you. What do you think of them? Please tell me your opinion below in the comments. Don't forget to like and share this, you have fun when you want. Royal Family News YouTube channel for more updates in the future. Thanks so much for watching good night, and we'll be back to see you all tomorrow.